Today, I'll show you how to do your Terra crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're specifically talking about the Terra blockchain um, and how to import your information into Coinly. So I'll tell you a little bit about the you know blockchain itself. Then we'll jump into the very simple integration today. No CSV files, just plugging in an API key. Um, and then I'll show you where to get the necessary tax documentation. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So Terra was regarded before these past weeks as a price stable blockchain designed for mass adoption. It was created in 2018 and based out of Seoul, South Korea. So Terra attempted to use stablecoin algorithm to solve the number one problem with crypto, which is volatility. It allows certain coins on the network to stay at a single price. Um, obviously that is not true on this current date that this video is being recorded. Hopefully that's gonna change in the future. Um, you know, crypto volatility is a thing that you almost can't avoid. So make sure to understand that when you're investing in crypto. Um, Terra USD crashed way below the $1 fixed value this week. So um, hopefully in the future, the entire industry as a whole rises again. Okay, so that's enough about the Terra blockchain. Let's talk about the actual integration part of this video. So first things first, you're gonna log into your Coinly account, head over to the wallet section and click add wallet. You're gonna type in Terra and there's two different options here. You have the Terra Luna, you know, cryptocurrency, which you can get from any wallet or exchange that you have, you know, you simply just copy and pasting it uh, copy and pasting the public address into here so keep in mind that liquidity transactions are not fully supported at this time that's obviously subject to change some tran transactions on older versions um, of the mainnet may not be imported so definitely keep that in mind however most people will probably be using the terra station so let's click on that and this time we're going to do the setup auto sync and if we open our um, terra station wallet that is this key located right here at the beginning you're gonna take that, copy and paste it into here, and it should start with um, Terra, and then you're gonna click Secure Import. And there you have it, you've imported all the data from your Terra station with one or two simple clicks. Alternately, if you can get your hands on a CSV file, which I'm not really sure you can do for Terra, uh, you would just simply click Import from File, and drag and drop it into here and click import. So once you have that data imported, you would head over to your transactions area here. You can review any transactions from your exchange, making sure everything is okay. Then you can head over to the tax reports area and here you'll get a fantastic summary of your crypto activity throughout the year. So your capital gains, your incomes, your cost and expenses. Use this area to see kind of where your crypto taxes are going to get end up. And then once you're ready, you would scroll on down and select the tax plan that's appropriate for your needs. And we have plenty of different tax reports. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also um, export to TurboTax both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then lastly, Canada, Germany, and other countries. We have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can give directly to an accountant and they can combine it with other tax document documentation to submit. And then lastly, if you'd like, you can also invite them to coin to set up their accountancy firm here with us. And one more thing that I always tell everyone is check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report, this tax plan might be deductible. But that brings us to the end of this video. Kind of a sour note to end it on because Terra is, you know, not doing so well right now, but that's the situation of crypto. It, it happens sometimes. So if you have further questions, I'm going to leave you down, uh, down below with some resources. So the first one, we have the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section if, you are, if you're having any issues with our software. And then lastly, we have a contact section where you can drop us a message and we'd love to help you out. But if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.